What's happening, fam? LA all movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thanks everybody for supporting. This video is entitled I'm Angry Because I'm Sensitive. I was listening to Michael Jai White while I was at work. And he was talking about playing Mike Tyson back in the day. And he said, you know, they, he can relate to the character because Mike Tyson was looked at as an angry person. But people don't re didn't realize he's a very sensitive guy. And because he's sensitive, you know, you hurt his feelings. It might throw him, throw, he might go at you, right? And a lot of times when people get angry, they say, oh, you sensitive. And Michael Jai White was talking about it as, you know, he realized that as a kid, looking back at it, that he was very sensitive because he would fly off the handle. He he he, could, he wouldn't take things. He would respond to things a little bit more aggressively than his, his brother would, who would just let things roll off his back. And I would think what's cool is, like, if, if you notice, some people who can get their aggressions out who are sensitive are, wind up being calmer people because... He he attributed to being like uh, he's an like artist and artistic and, and being kind of some somewhat of an empath and vibes and feelings and getting more in touch with your emotions. And when we talk about guys being overly emotional and sensitive and um, going off with angry or violent responses, some people are sensitive. And, and, you know, part of that is also something else that he spoke on was, you know, you ha you build up a tough exterior to protect your own sensitivity. So, you know, and I think a lot of people don't realize that when you do that, you know, that's when the bullied becomes the bully. Because you're trying to protect your own, your sensitivity, but now you put on this, this armor, this shield. But now you use your your armor as a weapon and your shield as a weapon. You're not as inviting as you once were because you sense it. You don't want anybody to hurt your feelings. And you can't necessarily control your response if somebody hurts your feelings. And I think the vast majority of people get that you're angry because you of your own sensitivities and, and your feelings may be getting hurt. But I think a lot of people don't get some people are overly sensitive to the point that they're looking for offense. You know, they, they went from protecting themselves to being a pit bull and attacking everything um, that comes in their direction because they're seeing uh, offense in everything. And I think that's a problem, you know, because then you, instead of protecting yourself from trouble... You're making up trouble and going and looking for trouble. And then you're wanting people to deal with your response. That really you made up in your own mind. You know. And I think that that's dangerous. You know. But I also think if you're a sensitive person, empath, artistic, whatever. You're going to need a... Um, you're going to need some type of avenue... To express, to get it out, to express yourself or get it out. Whether it's painting, whether it's fighting, whether it's music, you know, yoga, workout, whatever it is. You got to get something because if you, ow, bit my damn tongue. If you, um, if you don't, you might wind up balling everything up and exploding at some point. Which is part of the issue with, you know. Being sensitive, because sometimes when you're sensitive, you don't want to hurt other people's feelings, because you're you're sensitive about your own feelings, and you know how it feels to get your feelings hurt. So you don't want to give that to somebody else, and you just swallow it and swallow it and swallow it. And you know we're gonna put my feelings in the box. We're gonna we're gonna lock it up, and we're gonna throw this sucker in the ocean. Jack, you got to be Jack Cousteau to find these feelings. You know, <laughs> anybody who watches Bad Boys too know what I'm talking about. But that becomes an issue because now you can't change your nature. You can't change your kind heart. You can't change your kind feelings. But 
And I see some people who went too far who, you know, they say they're sensitive and they got kind hearts and they, they're trying to protect themselves. But you never really see them be nice to anybody. So you, you're like, are you real? I don't, I don't see you being a kind person because I don't see you being kind to anybody. I don't see you being open to anybody. I don't see you being vulnerable to anybody. I don't see you being sensitive to anything because you're so abrasive, right? So how could your feelings ever be hurt, right? And some people, you know, some people are different from others. Some people, you get your, your feelings crushed at a certain point, and it's difficult for you to open up again, and thus you become bitter, you know, hard-hearted. Cold hearted You know but To each his own I think also A lot of people need to understand that Everybody has feelings Everybody's sensitive You know everybody has a sense of sense A sense of sensitivity But Everybody may have a different mission or purpose So Some people are Better suited at compartmentalizing their emotions than others, because they can't use that emotion in the in the direction that they're going, and they're able to, I guess, not let it eat away at them because of the actual mission or purpose or plan that they they have to execute. They can put that aside and, and they can wait. Um, but sometimes when people are overly sensitive or just sensitive in general, their feelings matter so much that it can't wait. It's, it's like an impulsive reaction. You go from being offended to, you know, being angry about it, you know, and, some, and, and, and to a degree, it's a bit of a martyr complex because you, you might feel like you don't deserve being hurt like that. You don't deserve being offended like that. You don't deserve being treated like that because you're such a good person. But bad things happen to good people. And bad people do bad stuff to good people, right? And sometimes you could have just been offended by a miscommunication. But that anger comes quick, you know. And as you get older, you, you kind of learn to dial it down like, mm, I might not need to do that. Because, you know... Because I'm sensitive and I'm quote unquote because we people that talk about it PC culture people being triggered or social justice warriors are uh, people who in some ways probably see themselves as sensitive to the society and sensitive to other people and they're standing up for the rights of other people but to a degree this is how you know when, when people talk politically about liberalism and liberal culture versus conservative culture where Sometimes you take your sensitivity and anger too far and now you're fighting for things that are ridiculous. And now people don't look at you as sensitive, they look at you as stupid. They don't look at you as a person who's empathetic to, 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 to um, pain of other people or, or and, and empathetic to other people's issues and struggles. They look at you as a person who's narcissistic, really, because... Your sensitivity went to anger, but what you're angry about is, you know, nonsensical. Uh, but I think in general, though, what winds up happening is we kind of we kind of overcorrect, where when somebody is sensitive and, and you don't want them to cry because think about it. If somebody's sensitive and they cry a lot, we beat them up for crying. Call them weak. So that same person will turn very hard and very cold. And then you say, yeah, you toughened up. But then you don't realize they became way tougher than you. So now you, cre you know, you beating them up about being sensitive and crying. Now they may be cold and hard and heartless to you, but they're just harder than you. They won't let you make fun of them again. So now they're angry after a while. To you, and, and you're like, well, how did you get so angry? You, you, you are part of the catalyst for that behavior. Because they were sensitive, then they had to be angry. You cheered them being hard. Now they were, you know, okay, this is the right direction. I'm going to go all in, right? So you went from sensitive to angry. 
and people cheered you for being angry. And now people are, could, in some ways, after a while, become afraid of you because now you're too angry to handle. But that's just my opinion. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Peace.